This video about something very important if you own a dishwasher. A friend of mine told me that she had a dishwasher for 3 years but she never realized that she had to clean it. I mean there is hot water and detergent in it when it works so do we really need to clean the machine that cleans the dishes to a sparkle? Ironically the answer is yes. Just like other electrical appliances, your dishwasher needs a thorough cleaning once in a while. Namaste, welcome to Home Hashtag Life and in today's video, I will be sharing with you a few tips and tricks on how to clean your dishwasher. It's cleaning and maintenance, when to clean, why to clean, how to clean and the tools you need to clean your dishwasher. So, let's get started. How many of us take out food leftovers from the plate or vessel and then load the dishes? Labels on jars are also another example. The particles might get trapped near the drain trap and may cause foul smells. If you notice any foul smell coming from the dishwasher, it is a sure sign that your dishwasher needs to be cleaned. With time, the gaskets, the interiors, all are susceptible to water stains and microparticles adding up. That needs regular cleaning to keep the dishwasher brand new always. And the reason to clean the dishwasher is that if you allow grime and gunk to build up, it may damage the pumps and filters resulting in costly repairs. Only if the machine is clean, your dishes will also come out clean. So pay attention to the cleanliness of the insides and outsides of the dishwasher. It is advised to deep clean interiors once in 3 months if you are running it twice a day or at least once in 6 months if you are running it once a day. Frequent cleaning the outside once a week to remove the hard water spots. Filter make sure to clean the filter in every week or alternate week according to the usage. Remove food particles from inside the dishwasher daily or with every cycle. For regular cleaning, I use vinegar, dish soap and baking soda. There are many solutions and tablets that promise to deep clean the dishwasher when you place it and run the machine in a hot cycle. Here is an alternate tip. Place a bowl of vinegar on the top rack and run the machine in a hottest and longest cycle. But since vinegar is acidic, I would suggest not to do this very frequently. Here everything is ready. Now we can begin by tackling the cleaning part. Now before we start the cleaning, make sure to switch off and remove the plug from the socket. To begin with, remove the lower rack. Once you remove the lower rack, damp a cloth with this vinegar, dish soap and water mixture and make sure to give it all a good wipe to remove hard water stain if there is any. Leave it for 5 minutes. Remove the upper rack and follow the same process. Now we will go back to the lower rack, damp a cloth with plain water and give it a good wipe to remove the stains. We will follow the same process with the upper rack too. Now keep them aside and let them dry. Let's move to the floor where we have the filter or strainer and spray arm. Check for food near the drain tray. Remove the filter by rotating it anti-clockwise. Now you can see all the gunk and residues. I didn't clean the dishwasher for one month to show you the actual scenario and from this we can clearly understand why it is so important to clean our appliances on a regular basis. 
I'm cleaning the filter with the help of a bottle brush and dish liquid. We can certainly use toothbrush too. Gently brush the filter under a running tap for a few seconds. Same way cleans the tray as well. Prepare a dish soap and baking soda mixture and gently apply on the dishwasher floor. Let it be there for 5 minutes. To clean the spray arm holes, here is a trick. Take a wire and pass it through the spray arm holes. They can be clogged with food particles or mineral deposits from hard water. Take a toothbrush and gently scrub the spray arms to remove buildups. Now gently scrub the floor and remove all the baking soda soap mixture. If too much dish soap residue is left on the floor, it might cause unnecessary froth and bubble when you run the next cycle. Remove the salt cap and give it a good wash too. If your roof has also a spray jet, make sure you don't miss that part. The inside of the door catches a lot of splashes and hence has many hard water stains. Spray this mixture all over and let it sit there for good 10 minutes. Meanwhile, clean the detergent and rinse its slot. Make sure to remove excess detergent that stuck with the help of a, a toothbrush and uh, wipe it clean. Wipe the door edges and corners well to remove those stains. This one is super important as it seals the machine completely. Take a toothbrush and carefully remove particles, dust, dirt and grime. Then with the help of water and soap solution, gently wipe down twice or thrice. Be careful of the buttons and settings. I prefer not to use any spray or harsh chemicals. This might go inside and water can damage. Just stay on the safer side and very gently use a damp cloth to wipe the water stains. After we are done with the front, clean both the sides too. Let me share a quick tip, a homemaking tip here. Use these magnetic hooks on the side of the dishwasher to hang and store things. I find it very useful for our small utility area. I can now keep things off the floor, hang the grocery bags, cleaning rags for easy access and utilize the space to the maximum. Lastly, take the spoon and fork stand which is cutlery stand, give it a good scrub and rinse in the water. These areas are often the most neglected and tend to catch an insane amount of dust over the period of time. Dust them off and give it a good wipe. This is the last and wind up kind of a step that we often tend to miss. If you have a stand then make sure to clean it uh, frequently. Just a few minutes of dusting and wet wiping with the same solution. And voila, we have a good as new dishwasher and dishwasher area in place.
Remove food particles thoroughly from the previous cycle and then place the dishes. Remove labels and barcodes in jars beforehand if possible. Always clean a bit of the dishwasher after the cycle. Always open a bit of dishwasher after the cycle is complete so that the water vapor evaporates and mold doesn't build up. Check for drain blocks periodically. Be sure to give this video a big thumbs up if you found this video helpful and also don't forget to share it with your friends and family. Now you are left with a neat or clean machine giving you better shine on dishes and reducing the chances of repairs. Let me know if you have any other queries in cleaning your dishwasher. I will try to address them as much as possible. Also subscribe to home hashtag life and also you can find us on Instagram and Facebook for more videos, pictures and life updates. Till then stay home if you can and stay safe. I will see you in the next one. Till then take care. Bye bye.